What's up guys? So I'm sure a lot of y'all know that I like Riffle Shuffle playing cards. And I also like their deck Serious B V2s. And some of you OG viewers may know of my video, me when I see a new deck of cards. And in that video, I'm basically just showing how like my reaction, I guess, to when uh, Riffle Shuffle's Serious B V3s came out. I wasn't able to get them at the time. However, six months later, I finally got them. But I actually did not mean to get them yet. Funny story, actually. So my parents were shopping on Amazon back in the middle of March. And apparently in our cart was the Serious B V3 deck. Now I like to do some looking around, you know, on like websites like Amazon, eBay, 52 cards, Riffle Shuffle, just to see what cards they have and what deals they have. But hardly ever do I expect to get those cards. And I also just like, don't ask. So maybe, just maybe, I somehow accidentally clicked on add to cart when looking at Serious B 3s on Amazon, but I am 99.9% sure I didn't do that. Maybe my parents did somehow because they're not the most tech savvy, honestly. But I'm also 200% sure that I did not sneak those cards into our cart. Okay, right hand on the Bible, I did not sneak the Serious B V3 cards into our Amazon cart so my parents would buy them. But they said they would buy the cards. Again, I did not put those in there. And so, here we are. So let's get to unboxing uh, these cards. All right, so these cards just came from Red Chair Magic on Amazon, but that's not important. Wow, that landed right on that. Did you see that? Yeet that out. All right, here we have the deck. A little dented. Yeah, it's got just a few dents, but it should be okay. bit of box damage. I also only got one because they were a little bit more than $10. It'd just be a little bit much to get another one. Maybe I'll get another one in the future, but for now we just got one and it's slightly damaged box. Smells like USPCC. All right, of course we got a Riffle Shuffle ad card. That looks great. And also, this doesn't come in new deck order. It comes in new Monica stack, I'm pretty sure. And I have absolutely no experience with stacks of cards. But we got this face down card, Seven of Hearts. <laughs> wow. And we got the two jokers, which are basically dogs because Sirius B is the dog star. Also, that matches perfectly with my shirt. But yeah, so far, the back looks absolutely amazing. Now, while I don't have Sirius B V1s, I do have the V2s. And I was watching a deck review of the V1s and it came with a double backed card that had the V1 design on one side and the V2 colorway on the other side. And the V2s came with, so one side has, you know, the Sirius B V2 back design. And then the other side basically has 
the V3 back design just with the orange. So either one, they were hinting the V3 back design by just changing the back but keeping the orange just to hint it a little bit and not fully give it away. Or two, they just redesigned this card. Like this was maybe the original prototype, but then they changed it. Those are just my theories. I don't really know for sure, but I think that's interesting. So looking at the actual faces, again, they are in a new Monica stack, but it's basically kind of the same as how they've been doing it each uh, deck, except for on the hearts and the diamonds, the red cards, they keep it red instead of like recoloring it. And the quartz are basically the same as how they've been doing it. And of course, the black cards are the blue, same as the back design. So every court is just completely filled in and all the uh, spades are large, so it's there's not just a special ace of spades. I do like that ace of spades though. It's very contrasty, kind of like fire and ice, so that's what the ace of spades looks like. Now for handling, these cards are I'm pretty sure crushed stock, maybe air cushion finish like uh, those. And those Serious B cards were the smoothest cards I've ever handled. These seem to be pretty much the exact same. A little slippery out of the box as you can just, as you just saw. And the edges may need just a little bit of sanding, but not anywhere near like bicycle cards. They're really soft out of the box. Like they don't really need breaking in to be soft. That handle is great. So I'm sure with some more use, you can get great results with these cards. Um, Faring that way, they didn't farrow too well. Farrowing that way, they farrowed a lot better. Dribbling uh, face up could be a little bit better out, out of the box. Dribbling the other way, a lot better. And with that design, it looks really nice. These colors just look really nice, holy cow. Especially with the shirt. <laughs> For display flourishes, these cards look even better. And also, if you're wondering what that flourish was, that is a possibly original flourish by me. I don't have a name for it quite yet, except for possibly pinwheel. And so you might say a tutorial on that in a few months. I haven't perfected it yet. And if you wanna see uh, these cards and even these cards more in action, be sure to watch the Car Street Battle video, link I think over here maybe. All right, so out of 10, I'd probably give these cards an eight and a half. For design, that's all up to your opinions. For handling, probably an eight and a half. Especially, I'm sure, if you break them in. And also, of course, these borders are thin. The cards are snappy. Can't seem to, there we go. The colors pop, especially with the uh, orange and blue, or the red and blue, too. Great deck, highly recommend.
Just don't drop the cards like I did there. It's a little slippery. Yeah, a little slippery and that's just a bad spring. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. This was my unboxing and review of Sirius B V3s. I hope you enjoyed this and be sure to let me know what you think of these cards and if you have them. And um, yeah, be sure to also like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.